Hi guys, it's Rachel here. So I'm going to make a wider snippet roll thing. So I don't know, I've never done this before. I just got a Daphne's diary and ripped it into three and it was about nine inches wide. So each one is about three inches wide. Okay, so I think I'm just going to, um, I've got a whole lot of stuff out here. Um, I'm wondering, do I, this is just an old piece of um, dictionary, I'm wondering, do I, um, I don't want to just cover it like that, I want to put it in pieces, um, do I want to do it mixed, mixed um, with fabrics, or do I want to do it um, all paper and then fabrics? And I was thinking these sorts of things can then become pockets. So then I, my other question to myself is, do I want pieces overhanging the edge? This one I'm not going to put over the edge. This is the first time I've made such a wide one. I don't know if you guys have made wide ones, but I haven't before. Um, but I might, oh, there's a hole. Oh, we like holes, don't we? We might stitch the hole. Um, just trying to see over here dropping stuff. I'll bring it over so you can see. I don't want to use my Sanderson fabric. I could use that. That's a nice piece of linen. There's a lovely piece that was sent to me. I've got some that's some Thai silk. I won't use that. That shouldn't even be in there. My mum gave me that. Got some fabrics here. And it's a big piece of Sanderson fabric. Um, I know I'm pulling out all the planes, but I don't know. I could use that one. Oh, there's a bit of ruffle. We don't, I can put a bit of ruffle on there. There it is. A little bit of lace. I like those little bits. Put those there. That's that box. And I've got another box over here. What's in this one? I probably need to... I am slowly working through my... Um, my scraps so i probably need to um, bring some more in i love ticking we might put a bit of ticking somewhere um they're more sort of well we could use some of those they're more laces and then i've got um cheese cloth so i might put that on top of the other one that i've been through and then the other ones that i've got here are really um a lot of laces oh here's some script some fabric script they were sent to me I don't know who sent those to me I don't remember anything do I it's memory memory like a sieve so how is everybody today I haven't asked you that hoping everybody is well we have fog fog and cloud today so it's not bright and cheery I'm just going to grab another basket over here now I've got some other bits and pieces in here that I've you know mucked around with and dyed and painted and stuff so they could come in handy right oh the lights are all the way over there I moved it so we'll just put that there so you can see better okay so I think we'll do a mix I think that I've pulled out all these fabrics so I think it'll be a mix and again I'm not going to put glue down perfectly um, because they will be stitched and yes I think I will and I've, I when I'm putting fabrics they can overhang a bit and that can go there like that put that down there And the glue really does hold it there for you until you're ready to stitch it. I might put this one. It's going to annoy me there. Put that over there. I don't want it to be too like, you know, that could be a pocket, then that would be a pocket. I want to mix it up a little bit. So um, I'm become, being a little bit too regular there. I'm going to have little bits and pieces popping in here and popping in and out here and there um let's just get some paper i'm doing all 
fabric. We'll grab some of my green script here and we might use the tear ruler. We are memory keepers, tear guide, they are called. I get asked quite a lot about those and they were sent to me. I didn't buy them, but I'm sure you can um, purchase them on Amazon or at a craft store, especially in the States and probably in the UK and Australia. You know, Italy is a crafting, it's a barren country, like in, in the sense that um, we can't get that sort of thing. Uh, well, I say that where I live, let's say where I live, it's a barren place um for that sort of thing because um yeah we don't have any crafting sort of shops really that i can think of so we don't get those sorts of things i'll keep those for a special occasion there they got the spine from when i pull the books apart i like those i hang on to them i hoard them have a bit of that rubbish there I don't know if this is too much the same as the other video, but um, I really did want to do one. I won't worry about the layering up on there yet until I've sort of done the rest. Now, and I will have to make sure if I were to use these as pockets, you just need to stitch across the, the top edge there to make sure it's all stuck down. Put that there. We can come back and do any sort of add-ons afterwards. And let's get some more. I'll put this paper here. Why don't we glue that one on? I haven't, don't seem to have any scraps of straw paper here. Oh, I've got some straw paper. I'll just rip it. I don't appear to have any scraps of it. I wanted to use some scraps, but this is it. nice to have a, a nice pop of golden colour. Put that there. These are so much fun. These are such fun things to make, really. And then once I've done it, because I've never, as I said, I've never, I keep repeating myself. Um, but I've never made one before, so um, so um, we'll see what to do with it once it's done because we don't know how it's going to turn out. I probably should put something there. I've got this piece of Sanderson here. I'll put that. Change directions every so often just to make it more interesting. Yeah, that's better. And then I could put that one there. Oh, I like that. I like that layering. Okay, so yesterday was just one of those days when you, here I am starting to fuss about there, I shouldn't do that, um, was one of those days, like, I don't remember if I said it in my video yesterday, but I spent oh, the whole morning at the post office, well not the whole morning, half the morning, 8.20 to 9.43, that's quite a long time to be at the post office, isn't it? Um, so um it just kind of threw me for a loop i think i didn't i didn't actually end up getting a lot done yesterday besides i did do the other video start the other video and i finished it today and this video is going to go up tomorrow um just well just in case because lucky because otherwise um and lucky i'd already done my um stitched tag video because um i wouldn't have i wouldn't have done a video yesterday if i hadn't already done it because just that all of that just the way the morning went just if i have an off morning pretty much the whole day is off because my i'm a morning person i love the morning and if i'm productive in the morning i continue to be productive in the afternoon if i don't get anything done in the morning um it continues on into the afternoon so whatever happens in the morning continues to the afternoon so we, we have to wake up and hope that things go to plan and things are done in the morning so then they are continued on in the afternoon how about that right i've got some old paper here might as well stick it on I'll stick it on that way i think rip that bit off i'll keep that for something else so i'm it's really collaging it's just collaging in a strip i'm putting a bit more glue on than i normally do 
I think and on the on the narrow ones I don't put quite as much glue I don't know why I'm being so such a fuss pot about it but um, there you have it and I just see then I have all these little pieces here that can go on oh and I love this I did this with my um, Arteza paints I put them these were with acrylic paints and I had put medium in I think I did it on video I had put some um, fabric medium in the acrylic paint I can't remember the proportions but I, I could look you could go back and watch the Arteza video where I did that it was last year sometime no was it last year or the year before time flies anyway um, what was I going to say um, yeah I did it with my Indian block prints and I just love them and I hoard them so they're going to be stuck down somewhere just rip that bit off Okay. Right. Let's keep on covering our base and then we can work out the rest. So covering the base. This is what we're doing, covering the base. I've got this piece of fabric here. That could go... No, I think I'm going to have some more book page. I think I'll just stick that right there. So just put some glue on. Okay, so that's that. So I'm not really going too far over the edge on this one. I'm not doing that. Because um, as I said, I might like to I might like to use it as a pocket. Just trying to see where I might like to glue that one down. I haven't used much paper, have I? I've got some, I've got bits and pieces here. I've got lots of strips left over in my Florentine papers. I don't have any really big pieces left, but I do have strips that can be quite nice, so I might as well use those. Here we go. Let's have a look. I'm thinking this one might be nice. I didn't get that one again. Like I didn't, they didn't have it. I didn't see it. So I think I'll glue that one there. So much fun doing this sort of stuff. It's really a lot of fun. It really is. Glue that one there. Maybe put that one down there. And I love the fact that you don't have to be precious about your gluing. You just swoosh it around. Well, worry, we can use that. So I'll put that over there. These little bits are more bits that you layer on top. Um, I haven't had any of this lovely ticking. I just love ticking. I don't know why. I think my mum, my mum got me onto the ticking. She loves ticking, and I love the ticking as well. there we can just go over the top there cover up that little hole I don't know if you can see it. let me move move myself up and you can see how it's fairly quick moving along doing this don't want to use that and let me see what else I've got floating around I pulled out a whole lot of stuff I honestly did you can't see it but I pulled out so much stuff Probably don't need half of it. Um, oh, I've got these um, lovely, and I've got some of them are gales as well, gale lagus vanillis. I've got those um, trims too. These are these are good things to use. These are gales. They might be good um, to use, and I've got embroideries and things in there. I'm just looking to see if I had a wide one. That's the one from yesterday. It's not quite wide enough. And then I had these. These are bits and pieces of, um, what do you call it? There's a piece. Um, there's an embroidery. So you can stick those things down, but we'll have to see what goes. Um, little, like I cut pieces of um, sort of pattern, old pattern in, um, in washi tape style. That's what I want to say. Sometimes it's hard to get the words out. And 
and I don't remember if someone sent me these or if they're Gales. I must have a look. I can't remember. But they were, I got, like, I got sent the, if they were sent to me, they're the ones I was sent, um, they were printed. Like, I didn't print them. Just going to grab out a few things, because they can be quite um, pretty. And I know um, um, Carol Law, she uses them a lot in her journals. The um, I like this one. Um, she uses them a lot in her her journals she's very clever you're very clever Carol the way you um I love the way you use the trims the printed trims in your journals must watch again and and learn from you so I wonder what Anne's because this is going to go up on Friday, so it will be today. We will say today, but it's really yesterday, just to confuse everybody, because we like doing that. I think I'll go that way. Yes. I'll stick that down that way. Look up there. Stick, get some glue. I think I'll keep that up. I like that. Glue this down. I don't want to lose my rose, though, do I? I'm just going to put it like that. You can't see what I'm doing. Here we go. Because it's becoming quite long now, so it's, um, oh, I think we might have a piece of this. I wonder if that will cover that. And then we can cover it with something else. Um, it's becoming quite long. And we'll put something else on there. Just another. Put that there, and, and then what? It's a bit of a patchy one, isn't it? Maybe I'll leave that there, and that can be, um... I can attach another piece if I want to. Right, now we can come back, and this is the really fun bit, is when you start adding bits to it. So I don't know whether I want to sort of look at it in a direction, or I think I should have it really going. So I really like that. I'm going to stick that there. It will be stitched over, and I could have... I'm already thinking about it, aren't I? And I love that there. Hmm. Well, that's what I'm going to do. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to put some glue on here. Make sure I'm just going to stick. I, I want it to stick, but I am going to do my stitching across it like I did on the other one. And I really, 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 really do like that. And then I'm just going to run some glue here and stick. Must make some more ruffles, coloured ruffles, because um, that's a new fabric, but I like the colours with the old that's super antique 1700s embroidery. How about that? Um, but I like that. So there's a piece, and that can be cut there, and then you can have that bit there, or you could cut that can be, you can't, probably can't see, um, cut it like, you know, that's a pocket, or can be cut, there's a little patch there, or it could be a long bit, you know, I don't know. If you just then have choices, you have options. So now we need to, um, can you tell I've never done this before? We need to have a little bit of lace, I think. We'll get this lace out. This is one I don't mind using because I find that type of lace quite often and I've got little fluffy bits here that we like. We like fluffy bits. Um, that kind of hard. The This kind of thing is quite hard. I'd need a stronger glue to get that to stay in place. I'd have to put that on as I stitch it. And I'm going to keep that. I'm hoarding that's the last little piece I've got of that. I'm hoarding that. There's a piece I can use. I don't have much left in there that I would use for this. Oh, I've got a, I've got a pink ruffle. I need to get my fabrics out and, and do some ruffling, I think. We need to do some ruffle. Get ruffling. Ruffing, pleating, whatever. Doesn't matter. Ruffling can be pleating, and whatever you want to call it. It's not the end of the world if we don't use exactly the right term. I'm going to put that there. I like that. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I was saying, I'm, I'm wondering what... What is Anne going to present us with for our number four tag? What are we going to be presented with, guys? Um, it really is a challenge. Now, the challenge for me is... Um, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. The challenge for me is really... Um, oh, look at that. Oh, I thought that was attached there. Oh, I like that behind it. Oh, that's cool. 
See, I would never have known to do that if I didn't pull it out like that. Um, the challenge for me is, so I don't want to be unfaithful to Anne's um, prompts. I want, I want to do what she is suggesting. But then I don't, but the challenge for me is to interpret Anne's prompt my way. There you go. That's the challenge for me. It's not, it seems easy, but it's not because it's, I think it's easy to do exactly what Anne does. And there's nothing wrong with doing that at all. I just like challenging myself and doing it. For me, the challenge is interpreting Anne's um, prompt my way. So um, let me put that on there. And um, and I know for some people it's challenging to do what Anne does. And um, so, yeah, we just have to challenge ourselves. But I wanted to say that it might appear to you when I do my do my um, tag on the video that it's coming easy to me. But what I, for I forgot to say was that um, I've actually quite often... Um, well, always, I watch Anne's video, I don't do it straight away. Um, I think about it because I need to think how am I going to do this my way without um, being unfaithful to Anne's prompt. Now, you know that I don't follow the rules exactly um, because my brain just doesn't allow that to happen. Um, it, my brain just is like, no. You're not doing the same same thing as the other person. You've got to do your own thing. That's how my brain works. Um, and that's not to be, you know, smarty pants or anything like that. It's just the way my brain is. Um, but um, what am I trying to say? I'm just trying to say I do think about it. Like, you know, I, I actually was very challenged with the scrappy tag. Like, I can do a scrappy tag. Like, scrappy tag, just get your scraps out and you make a scrappy tag, right? Um, but it was more like the way Anne did it, where she had her, it was very textural and she had her strips and, and, um, and they were kind of next to each other. So I just, um, what worked for me, I had to think about it. I thought about it for three days before I actually did the video. Um, and so I'm just looking for some lace. I say I'm looking for, I mean, I'm full of lace, but lace that I'm willing to, to put on this scrappy piece of thing that I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing here I'm going to glue that there um so yeah so um I did actually think about that for three days before I actually did the tag so I didn't that does that doesn't mean that I did when I did the video I knew exactly what I was going to do because I didn't but I had been um thinking about it and so I had a vague idea in my head of how I wanted to approach it but I didn't know how it was going to turn out if that makes sense because I hadn't done a prototype or anything like that does that make sense because I don't know I think I'm confusing myself now this is Gail's Gail Agostinelli's and I love I, I really love her trims trim look, I, in fact I don't use them enough I forget about them because I as I said I didn't like where they were stored where I had stored them and now I've got things in better place and I need to do that video and show you um, I've got things in a better place um, well in my opinion and so I'm going to cover that I think not with that though because it's very busy over there that's it's got it's all happening there but that could be a bit um, where you snip it into smaller bits so we need to get some other stuff happening over there yep so now that I've got my stuff in in better spot um, I think until I, you know, until I just decide to try something else, because that's what happens. I change my mind every five seconds. I'm going to put that there. Change my mind every five seconds. But you always need to try. I think to, there's no perfect system, I don't think. And I think you need to just keep trying and seeing until you finally, just always fine tuning the storage system, I think, and, and what works for you. Because what works for me doesn't work for somebody else necessarily now I'm just going to sort out this mess down here I've made a bit of a mess down there okay so that's that and you don't like you don't have to cover it all because it depends how it's going to be used 
so yes yeah, so i was saying with the with the um and challenge um i am i do think about it for quite a while before i come on and actually make my i come on video and i actually make my piece that's what i wanted to say it's not just um it's not it's not actually it appears easy but it's not that easy it is a challenge for me that is a challenge it is a challenge to in some way follow the rules like the guidelines shall we say or the prompt or whatever it is but do it the way that i want to do it but you know knowing what you want to do that's the hard thing that is a challenge for me it's a challenge because there are so many styles that i like there's so many things that i like and so it's very hard sometimes to like i could have made three tags in three different ways you know trying out three different styles because i liked all these different they see that would bring it together a little bit more for me so i'm going to rip that um that yeah so you've got to narrow it down to what do you want to do and i think about it before i get started that's what yeah anyway i'll stop talking now because i'm just waffling just getting confusing and talking for the sake of talking um right now that, that that i've got that there but i might attach more and i would just roll this up in a ball and tie a ribbon around it and then just pull it out um when i'm ready to use it now we can have other bits we don't want to be too busy um because i think if i i like that there if i were to um cut it up then i might want to add a focal point okay so that's that so i think that's do i need to put anything there i could try maybe a little piece of this do i want no not that color though just a minute where's the other ones where are you where have the other ones gone does anybody else talk to their supplies because you know i talk to my supplies all the time it's like like they're going to answer me back i think that's one of the things of being on your own all the time you talk to your stuff right I'll just grab this cheesecloth. I was looking for the other one, but... Oh, look, I've got the... Oh, I love this stuff. This is that display stuff. It's like a cheesecloth, but it's... Um, I think it was... I can't remember how many euro it was. It was a huge piece. I've got it somewhere there. I just cut... it Because the piece is so big, I gave some to my mum and she lost it. And I'm like, Mum, did you find it? Because I'll send you some more because I've got a big piece of it. Um, and then she found it, so I didn't need to send her any more. So that can go there. I think I'll put that there. Should I? I think so. Or do I want a smaller piece? So in Australia at the moment, in January, there's always the Australian Open. So all you Aussies will know, but mum was talking about it to me. She said those, I mean, my mum loves tennis. She was really good at tennis. And my dad's really good at tennis. And he likes to go on and see the Australian Open when it's on. Um, when he can i don't know if he can right now um because of you know what but anyway the australian government is very strict about their rules and anybody who comes in from overseas has to i like that there but i'm not sure has to um quarantine in a hotel um for two weeks and my mum said um the the overseas tennis players are very upset and i understand they're upset because it's the australian open there's you know big big winnings at stake and um but they're whinging that they have to stay in the ho in the five star hotel will i say five star hotel for two weeks and then allowed out and i guess they're fretting i understand them fretting because it's a big international tournament um and um and so they you know they need to be practicing but they can't they're not allowed to leave their rooms so that's what mum was telling me about today and i was thinking oh my goodness but um i wonder what will happen i wonder i don't know why they would even have the tournament on i would cancel it that's what i'd do i'd just cancel it because there's all these rampant strains and australia's doing really well and and you know you just i mean they can't make ex there's no exceptions to the rule um that's not fair to you know it wouldn't be fair just because they're famous tennis stars to 
to let them out, let them loose. Right, I think I'll stick that down there and then I'll be done. I think I finished waffling. Now, how would we use this? What would we do with this? So, so this one lends itself to me more to being pockets. It's a little bit lumpy bumpy with the textiles, I think for, I'm not gonna cut it up yet, I've gotta stitch it, but I'll have a think about it. I'll, I'll, add, I'll add another part to the video, I think. Um, I'll have a think about it. I've got time, I don't have to post it till tomorrow. Oops, and that's the doorway, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. So I need to go and stitch it, and then um, I can decide if I wanna use it like if I had a journal card and I wanted to decorate a journal card, I could take a piece off. I could take a little strip off and use it down that like a strip like that and use it down the side of a page. They can be pockets. It could be a big wide belly band going across the page. Um, I could stitch it. I could just say I had a, I don't know, um, where's my folder? Just a second, can't see it. Yeah, oh no, that's not it. But just say I had um, something like this and I put it into my, not this piece, that's not a good one to use because it's not complete. Um, here's a big, here's a full, just say I had this and I put this in, um, just say I folded a little piece like that and I stitched it into my journal. And then, so I'll, well, I will fold it, it doesn't matter. I can still, this is that Tim Holtz um, wallpaper one. And so that was stitched in my journal. And so then obviously this side, I kind of, sometimes I like to, I'd like to decorate it. And what you could do is you could have, just glue some paper down there and then you could attach this and it could be a side tuck. How cool would that be? So I'm just trying to give ideas about how to use them, but this is going to have one or, or five rows of stitching or six. I'll decide once I've stitched, I'll stitch down the middle and then I'll decide whether I'll do two rows on either side or might even do, no, it might have seven. I might do three rows on either side just to make sure I catch all my bits and pieces because it's not all glued down properly. So I'll go and stitch that and then I'll come back. Hi guys, so I'm back. This has all been stitched now and I really, really like the wide one. Just have to um, study what I'm gonna do with it. But I'll uh, just go through and show you. So I did five rows of stitching. They ended up being probably a centimetre or sometimes, yeah, between a centimetre and a centimetre and a half apart. Um, and then that was where we got to in the video. And then I added this bit on afterwards because I enjoyed it so much. Um, and yep, so I just went and continued adding on more. And here I just added an extra row of stitching because um, here you can see it starts there and finishes there because these two edges didn't get caught so you can do that you can go and add in a few more so that one's got six rows there and then we're back to five rows and I added a little bit of painted bits as well so that's super fun I thought maybe before I go um, we could have a look at what what would I do with it so I'm wondering if in my box over here I'm just going to bring it over here I've got this box here um, where I just have, um, you know, these sorts of things and some bases, but those have kind of been decorated, so I wouldn't stick anything on those. Um, just let me see. I might not have anything. I've got, and that's Christmas, that one. Um, I've got this. I probably wouldn't cover all of that up. We'll pull it out. Or you could have like a, um, oh, look, there's a little tag. That's too, too small, that one. Um... Just a minute, things that aren't complete. I could have a book page pocket, I guess. One of these. I know I pulled one out, but I think the other one wasn't glued down. Um, and then those, are, I need to do some of those. And, oh, what's that? Oh, that's a little Patricia pocket wallet thing I have to finish. So I need to go through here. And this is all things to make up. Like, you know, things like, um, that's a good one collage things oh there's a bag 
um, things to make up, you know, to put into journals, that sort of thing. So, you know, bits and pieces of paper, envelopes, things to decorate, that sort of stuff. So um, there's a few things that haven't been completed there. So that's always sitting there ready to be done. So, for example, you could have a bag um, and then you could stick. Oh, that's so pretty. To decorate the bag. I might, and I might even do that. Get a little bit of the purple. Cut it and stick that on there. Oh, I like that. I could even make it like a little side tuck. It's strong enough. It could be a little side tuck on the bag. And then you could get a little butterfly. Um, I've got my thing here. Let me just open it. Let me get the butterflies out. I've, I've just got to find them. I haven't labelled them yet. So just excuse me for a second. Yep. I grab a butterfly from here if I've got one that has um, been cut. One of these could be good. No, too big. That one maybe. Anyway, we'll cut one out and see. So you glue that down on there. You could add a, um, a label. You could just leave it like that. You could stick a flower on there. I think it's just a nice way to use up your scraps, your leftover bits and pieces that, you know, because they do get out of control. Mine are quite under control at the moment, I think, because I've been doing a lot of um, uh, scrap busting. So I actually need to, <laughs> you know, you get all these um, scraps and then you're like, oh gosh, I can't stand all the scraps. They're driving me bananas. And then you go and do all your scrap busting. And you're like, oh my goodness, I don't have any good scraps. I have no scraps left. And so then you have to go and make more scraps. Isn't it silly? It's like a cycle. Isn't that pretty? I like that. But just let me see if I prefer this brown one. I might prefer a brown one. So I I haven't really been decorating anything since I separated everything into the We Are Memory Keepers box. Now, some people don't like it. Um, but I actually like it because I have my ephemera folders, but I tend to end up with a basket on my table with all these pieces in there and um, and as I had gone through my folders and found I had print, so many printouts of things from when I did, made the digital kits um, I really needed to pull them out so that I had them somewhere that I could I think no I think I prefer this one let's have a look here that one um, I yeah I had them um, you know, I needed to have them all in one spot so that way I would use them rather than just in my plastic envelopes. So I actually quite like the We Are Memory Keepers and I'm just keeping it under my table here. It's all neat. And if I were to go, what I like about it is I can, um, if I want to do something in front of the TV, keep Steffi company when he comes home. Um, I mean, that could become a tag, but I think I'm going to put it on there. Um, um, yeah, when Steph comes home, um, then this, this has got a sponge on the other end. I never use it, but it's quite good. Um, I can just pick up the box, keeps it all neat and tidy and I can, you know, decorate tag bases or that sort of thing. So I think I quite, I'm quite happy with it. Um, yeah, because otherwise, yeah, as I said, I have that basket and it was just full of a mix of things and, and they weren't separated and there was quite a lot in there and they were driving me mad. Oh, put the wrong lid on there. So that's one option is to do this. I really like that. And I could have left it as a side tuck, but I do think it's a nice thing just to have, keep it made up like this, the narrow one. So then you can use bits and pieces. Now that could have gone on a page. I mean, you can do so many things with it, that's all. And it's already pretty much, and it's got a mix of textures and it's already um, decorated. It's quite flat because it's stitched down. It's not too, too bulky. Um, so let's just do one more thing before I go. Um, so we don't have such a long, you know, video that's too long. Um, so I did have this piece. I don't know, this has got, already got a bit of collage on it. So I don't know whether I would... Um, 
really want to cover it up no but I was thinking like if you have a book page that you've glued together to become a pocket um, now this one is a bit deep so I'm going to tear it down because I don't want it that oh, no, I might keep it a bit wider and oh it's crooked of course it's crooked let's line it up there Oh, very crooked. Oh, because I lined it up with the writing, I think. And sometimes the writing is just, um, quite often the writing is crooked. So you would just stick that on there. And you've got instant decorated pocket. Or this could just go down. If you want a little bit of book page behind it, or this could just go down on the page as is. I also pulled over these. Like you could... Um, Oh, that's nice. That's what I'm going to do. Might, I'll get my cutter. Talk about change your mind. Leftover bits of scrapbooking paper. Um, and I think I'll cut this about there. And that can be like a pockety thing, but it can have another pocket on it with this. So what I would do here in this case is just um, cut that. I won't use my cutter because it does have stitching across it. I'll just have to eyeball it and do my best. Um, and that, oh, very crooked. And I can, because I don't have stitching at the top, I can manage a little snip there. So you can see it's a little pocket. And I will stick that down there. And then I've got, I could have it, yeah, and I think I, or will I have it on that side? No, I think I'll have it on the other side. So get my glue. I'll just make that a bit straighter. It's very crooked. It's a bit too much even for me. So that can be a glued down onto a page and be a side tuck or a pocket with a pocket and that will just glue on there and you know you can add something else there if you want to or not because it's very pretty and textural and all different all different elements on it so yeah I really like that idea as well so there we go we've done two things um, the other one is this I could have this and I could I could stick that across the top on the side and make it a flip quite like that idea I could have a pocket on there again snip it off there that would be really nice I really like that because if you've pre-made this and it's really fun to do um, you can just use bits and pieces snipped off as you go right and then it's like really fast because you've already made it and you don't have to um, you know think about your decorating what you're doing so there we have it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be making more of that. Good way to use up the, you know, the excess book pages or magazines and stuff that you don't want to keep anymore too because I'm trying to get rid of stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, it's a good way to use up all those sorts of papers and things. So I hope you enjoyed that and give it a go and I will see you again soon. Bye.